Hey guys, Thunderstud here, and we're finally getting to the new character, Shark. He's from Zexel, obviously. Brings us a lot of fish monsters, a lot of water support, and some new XZ stuff. So, uh, mostly we're getting some level 3s that are worth summoning now. They just take two level 3s. This boy takes two water. This boy just two regular monsters. What does Black Ray Lancer do once per turn? Detach one XZ's material, target a face-up monster on the field, and negate its effects until the end phase. So it's kind of a worse force focus, but much easier to summon. Then we have Leviathan Dragon. Once per turn, detach one XZ's material. This card gains 500. He starts at 2,000. Pretty good. Only downside is, if this card has no XZ's material, it cannot attack your opponent directly. So a uh, little, little cheesy there, but still a pretty good card. You keep it at 25 if you want to attack directly. If you need that 3k, you bring it up to that 3k. So then we have Zenmai Naze, however you say this card's name. Uh, he's just your defensive first turn play. But uh, we're using Hammer Shark. So we've had Hammer Shark in this game for so, so long. But clearly he is probably an XZ's intended monster because he'll special summon a level 3 and then lower himself to level 3. So that makes it pretty cool. We also have Shark Stickers. When a fish, sea serpent, or aqua monster is normal summon or special summon, you can special summon this card from your hand. Only downside is, this boy kind of clashes with our tuners and stuff because he cannot be used as synchro material. And then we have white stingray, you've probably seen me use this before in things like fishborg and uh, nimble and stuff like that. You can special summon this card from your hand by discarding one water monster, it has to be a water monster. You can only special summon once per turn. This card special summon from the graveyard, you can treat it as a tuner. Very cool effect there. Now we're using our boy Fishboard Planter Y. It's level 3, it can be summoned by Hammer Shark, and it's a fish. So uh, he works with this boy. If it's normal summon, you can special summon stickers. Can't synchro, but you can exceed into our new 3 pool. Then we have another 3 water tuner, just so it can be summoned by Hammer Shark, but it's not a fish this time does have a pretty unique effect. Discard one card, declare type, so that would be like, say, water, for instance. Can't be attacked by the attribute just in general, just as long as the duel goes, as long as it's face up. So that's actually a pretty good stall mechanic when you're facing something that's very focused. Uh, you don't obviously rely on it, but it's still pretty cool. Now just toss in some back row hate. And we got more Ray of Greed, which helps you throw the handful of monsters away. Maybe get that one Cosmic Cyclone you needed to make all the difference. And all that cool stuff. So let's get into the Synchro Pool with these boys. We're using White Aura Monsters. So we have Monoceros. Takes a Water Tuner and a normal monster. You don't have to worry about that. When it's Synchro Summon, you target a fish in your graveyard. Special Summon it, but it can't attack. It's a very useful effect. We can keep some combos going with him. You'll see that in the replays. And uh, if this card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, banish one water monster from your graveyard. Special summon him. Just like my boy White Aura Dolphin. You've probably seen this card played a little more than our Monoceros. But uh, just as good. Once per turn you target a face up monster your opponent controls. Half its attack. And like the other White Aura monster, if he's destroyed by battle or card effect, you banish water, which is our whole deck, and he special summons right back out. Very sticky monster. Then as a backup 7, we're not going with the Black Rose, we're going with the Gungnir, because he can be just as destructive usually as we need it. You can discard 2, target 2 cards, destroy him. We got Bionic Dragon, he actually is a water sea serpent too, so it's a very thin deck, but he can discard any number of cards, target the same, it turned to the hand, you know how the boy works. So, uh, as for skill, I don't really have any of the good skills. The skill is not good in this deck, the Monarch or the Deep Sea. It gives you a extra deck monster that requires three level fours, so you're really not using it all too often. But, uh, I don't have any good skills on Shark. The only good skill I have on Shark right now is, like, Attack Charge. So I'm trying to get some of his other skills. But uh, this deck's all over the place. Sometimes you're Xean, sometimes you're Synchroin. It's all a bunch of different stuff. Really cool little combos, though. You're really catching your opponent off guard. They really have no idea what Monoceros is trying to do or stuff like that. So it's a pretty cool deck. Was hoping it'd be a little better, but uh, there's plenty more we can do with this kind of support. So keep watching, guys, and thanks for watching now.
All right, here's the Yami Yugi. We're going first. He's looking for that rank up. Got a Magician Girl. Animated Matt using balance. So we got a Moray. Probably gonna use it. Throw away our stickers and our Stingray. Bring out another Stingray. But this time we got a Hammer Shark. So we're gonna just keep that Hammer Shark and Moray once again. That's more like it. We're gonna Hammer Shark into Fishborg into White Stingray. Fishborg plus White Stingray is level 7. That brings out your Monoceros. Now Monoceros is going to special summon Fishborg. We still have that level 3 Hammer Shark on the field. That's now White Aura Dolphin. We have plenty of water monsters in our graveyard to make them last forever, guys. So here, facing a Dark Magician, he goes with Kaiko, gets rid of him with Illusion Magic, has a back row, so probably a live navigation. We get another Fishborg, nothing to do with him. He takes 2,500. Now he's going to try to Regeki break our White Aura Dolphin. Obviously he comes back, but he brings out a Dark Illusion at the same time, so White Aura cannot attack. Now he's got a Navigation. Our monsters aren't really scared though, guys. He's got to bring out all these Dark Magicians, but we're immortal, essentially. We still have like four more instances of Immortality. He's using both the Dark Magician cutscenes on us. This guy is really flexing. But like I said, we got him. Even on his turn, I'm not scared. No cards in his hand. Sets a back row. Destroys my Monoceros with the Dark Magician. Monoceros comes right back. Now he's going to destroy my White Aura Dolphin with the Dark Magician. White Aura Dolphin comes right back. Now top deck of hate your name. It's going to get navigated. I knew it would. That's no problem now the navigation's gone. In case I need it with a Cosmic Cyclone or something like that. That's going to give him a Dark Illusion Summon, though. Pretty weird. Still not that detrimental to us. We lower one Dark Magician. We Kamikaze the Monoceros into another. Comes right back out, obviously. Then we swing him at the Dark Magician. Only need 300 more damage. 250 to be exact, but we give him the full 300. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are fighting Cowboy Colin. Going second. No sleeper map for our boy. Let's see what he's got for us. Eight in our extra deck, but like I said, we, we generally virtually never use that Shark Drake. So he sets just one back row. We're gonna more Ray of Greed, hopefully get some back row hate. We get exactly that. So we're gonna Cosmic Cyclone, plenty of buried monsters in our hand. It's likely Infernities, definitely Infernities with that launcher and Hollowed Life Barrier. So we can't do any damage to him here. We just need to build a field that can stand up to him. So you've seen this play before. We normal summon the Shark, special summon the Fishborg. Throw away his stickers for the White Stingray. That goes into our Monoceros. Monoceros is going to bring that Fishborg right back out. Synchro into our White or a Dolphin. So now we're plenty sticky to get away from any Infernity action. He top decks and scoops. Would have been a lot of work for that boy. Great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing Yami Yugi. Going second. No sleeper map for a boy. This is generally a second turn deck, but obviously you have good first turn plays too with those super sticky monsters. Our opponent sets one. No use for a Cosmic Cyclone or Hatred Nade. So we go right into the Hammer Shark. Now I'm not trying to Brownic Dragon this boy just yet. I feel White Aura Dolphin is going to be a little safer for this duel. Brings out that uh, Turtle Summoner. So he hurts our White Aura Dolphin, but he comes right back out. It will hit him for 2400. Sitting on a Cosmic Cyclone. Goes for the Dark Magical Circle. We're going to take a big risk here to Cosmic Cyclone it. But we do. Now he's using Dark Magical Veil. Super low life points for our boy. Brings out a Dark Magician. 600 life points. Now I have Timeus. Very impressive card. Not a big deal when your hand is empty. So he brings out a Dark Calvary. Like I said, not a big deal when your hand is empty. White Aura Dolphin comes right back out. Banishing that fish board. That means our boy's done for next turn, but we even still have plays. White Aura Dolphin lowers him to 1400. Normal summon the Fishborg. That special summon stickers. That's going to be an Xyz summon into, I think, just Leviathan. Yep, just Leviathan Dragon. So we had him lethal. 
with two different monsters, all because he couldn't target. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here's new school setup. We're going first. No saver map for our boy. Using ultimate dragons. So we've got some stickers. We got a shark. We got a normal summon that shark. That's gonna special summon both stickers on their own effects, so we don't even have to use the shark effect. Now we're gonna use both stickers for a Leviathan Dragon. No cutscene. Detach one, 2500, decent first turn. Boy goes with some random uh, mech knight, puts a white veil on it. I've actually used white veil before, I know exactly what it does. If you are to remove it, your boy takes 3000 damage. We're gonna do just that. We're gonna Cosmic Cyclone. We also bumped our Leviathan Dragon up to 3k, so he loses 3000 from the white veil and then loses exactly 1000 with our Leviathan Dragon attack. Great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing old school Joey Wheeler. We're going second. Using a uh, Blue Eyes Matt uh, Royd sleeve. Pretty interesting. So we got our stickers. We got a Fish Borg. Got a Cosmic Cyclone. Don't need that Cosmic Cyclone. We're going to start with Moray of Greed, though. We throw the sticker and obviously one Fish Borg away. That's going to be three into three fish borgs, so not really worth it. Here he summons an Amazon, a swordswoman destroys our fish borg. Now fish borg can special summon from the graveyard. All you have to do is discard a water from your hand. We could have done that here, but uh, I don't really run any of the three level threes, so just doing two is fine. We go with our Leviathan. Bring him out, get him up to 2500. Destroy that swordswoman. Left with just one face down. Opponent does nothing yet again. We get our Hammer Shark. We're gonna throw Bryonic Dragon. Now, it wasn't lethal with this Bryonic Dragon play regardless, so I just bumped my Leviathan up. Doesn't really matter. I'd rather have the 3k monster than fall just short of lethal. Now he's going Red Eyes. So we have the perfect counter to Red Eyes right here with our Cosmic Cyclone. And it's good we bumped our boy up to 3k. So Slash Dragon isn't really a problem. He doesn't go with Slash Dragon though. He makes a massive misplay with his Claw of Hermos. Because he has to tribute his own dragon to bring that out and put it on my dragon. So I uh, probably didn't mean to buff me up to 5.5. But thank you very much. Cool guy. You're the homie. So uh... Like I said, I wish this deck was a little better. Problem with this deck, it gets his plays off consistently, but once you've made your initial couple of special summons from your extra deck, it's pretty much all you got. It's hard to really crawl back. You need a bunch of cards in your hand. So uh, once your initial combos are thwarted, you really have a tough time with this deck. I don't know if there's a skill that could support that or something, but we're going to keep testing with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.